Hi, kids. Today we will learn about another sense organ, that is our ears. So let's get started. Our ears enable us to hear all types of sounds. Today we will learn the structure of a human ear. Ears are not just what you see on the side of your head. It has many parts that are inside, and we can't see them. Let's see. The structure of human ear is divided into three parts: outer ear, middle ear, and inner ear. Let's first learn about the outer ear. Outer ear is a part of the ear that consists of pinna and auditory canal. Pinna. It is the only visible part of the ear. It is also called ear flap. It is made up of a very tough cartilage covered with skin. Pinna has the main function of directing the sound waves from the surrounding into the ear canal. Next is the auditory canal. Sound vibrations travel this auditory canal to reach the eardrum. This canal produces a sticky wax and is lined with small hair. Both hair and sticky wax that protects the eardrum at the end of the auditory canal from dust and infections. Middle ear. Middle ear consists of the eardrum and three tiny bones. Eardrum is a thin wall of skin at the end of the auditory canal. Sound vibrations cause the eardrum to vibrate, and these vibrations then pass on to three tiny bones. Air pressure on both the sides of the eardrum, that is the outer side and inner side, must be equal in order to hear properly. At the places of very high altitude or very low altitude, we have difficulty in hearing because the air pressure on both sides is not equal. In the flights, the air pressure on the two sides of the eardrum is very different, and that is why we are not able to hear properly. And our ears adjust to such pressure changes due to the presence of a tube called eustachian tube, which is a part of the middle ear. It connects the ear to the back of the nose and equalizes the pressure on both sides of the eardrum. The three bones in the middle ear are known as ossicles, and their names are hammer, anvil, and stapes. And these are the smallest bones in the human body. Now let's learn about the inner ear. Vibrations from the middle ear pass to the inner ear, and the inner ear consists of the cochlea and semicircular canals. Cochlea is a spiral-shaped tube and resembles a snail. Vibrations from the eardrums. Enters the cochlea and vibrates these small hairs, and this is the real hearing organ, as these small hairs send sound vibrations to the brain along the cochlear nerve or the auditory nerve, and the signals sent from the auditory nerve to the brain and are then interpreted by the brain, and then only do we hear anything. Semicircular canals. Inner ear has semicircular canals. They are three interconnected tubes that helps a person to balance. So they are also known as balance organs. These semicircular canals are filled with fluid. As our head moves, this fluid also moves and sends messages. To our brain about the changing position of our head, and our brain interprets these messages and sends messages to various muscles to keep our body in balance. 
Let's try to understand this with an example. If you spin around for a while and suddenly stop, you will feel dizzy and eventually fall. This is because you are not able to balance your body. And this happened because the fluid in the semicircular canals is still moving and sending messages to the brain that you are moving, though you have stopped now. When this fluid comes to rest, then only you can balance your body and the dizziness goes away. So our ear is a very complicated organ. Ears are very important parts of our body that helps us to hear, communicate, and even balance our body and delicate too. And we must take good care of our ears. We should not blow our nose too hard as it's not good for our eardrums. We should always use earplugs at places like factories or concerts where volume is very high as very loud noise is not good for our eardrums. It can even rupture our eardrum and can make us deaf. Never hit anybody on their ears. And we should never put anything into our ear canals as it can hurt the delicate eardrum. We should always clean our ears with soft objects like an earbud or a soft cloth. We should wear earplugs when we go for swimming. We should not let water enter our ears. We should consult a doctor if we feel pain in our ears. So kids, today we learned a lot about our ears. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.